Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to uh, this session. Uh, this is the second session in the series that we have just started with OIBIS, where we are discussing how can we position or uh, can we position OIBIS as an open source alternative for order management system. So in this episode, uh, or I would say session, we have some uh, experts from OIBIS community who are actually working in uh, OIBIS community since last more than, uh, I would say, eight and nine years now, have been delivering services to many of the customers and have vast experience in the field. And all the experience that we have is, uh, all these experts are having are, is, is actually related to Apache OIBIS only. So let me, uh, let me welcome Ankush Upadhyay, uh, who who has been with OIBIS community since last more than nine years now. We have, Ankush, you can raise your hand, say hi, so everybody knows. Like hi. Thanks, Brandon. And then we have uh, Rohit Kaushal with us, who is again, uh, has been working since last more than nine years with Apache OIBIS. We have got Webho, uh, he is again an expert hi. in Apache OIBIS. He is working with Apache OIBIS since last more than five years or so now. We have Suraj, again, one more expert with us, um, who is again <laughs> six, seven years of experience with Apache OIBIS. And the most of the experience is related to uh, OIBIS. And it gives me immense pleasure to have such people around me and to have on this episode of uh, uh, discussing the topic where we are going to talk about Apache OIBIS as, uh, as an alternative of open, as an alternative to OMS. And, um, it's an open source, so that gives the cutting edge uh, while selecting a solution that gives you the cost effective, efficient uh, solution for your problems, for the business problems. Uh, today's topic that we are going to discuss in this uh, category uh, is, is to talk about the real time inventory sync. When we, when, we go to an in, when we go to a retail enterprise and deploy a solution, the most important question that comes in picture, like what the OMS is going to do. And as I say, uh, according to me in retail organization, an object, uh, sorry, order management system plays a role like, like you have heart in your body that pumps blood. And when we talk about the inventory, I consider it as the blood that is being pumped because having 360 degree view of inventory across the channels, uh, and availability from all the facilities that you have across the countryside, mm, it, it helps you give, uh, uh, it, it helps you promise uh, your customers that, okay, this is what we have. And when we promise, our promise won't go false. And uh, so just to start with, let's let, uh, I would let our experts talk about the need of having the real-time inventory and their experience with Apache oil bill. Uh, so I would, I would like to ask, uh, Ankush, first, like, what, what's your thought on that? What's the need of having real-time inventory uh, sync in systems, in retail system? How does it help retailers, Ankush? Over to you, please. Uh, so, uh, thank you, Pranay. Uh, uh, thanks for uh, start conversation around uh, the real-time inventory uh, visibility. Uh, and as you said, I have been working uh, with Apache OIPs uh, uh, since, uh, like nine years now and during that period i have been experienced to uh, a few cases and a few uh, uh, scenarios uh, that shows that uh, uh, the need of the real-time inventories in uh, the uh, uh, retail businesses so i would like to share a few of them uh, why we actually need the real-time inventory uh, so that uh, retail businesses can sell their pro products across all the channels. And uh, uh, so, yeah, uh, so uh, there are a few cases like uh, if we don't have a real time inventory uh, visibility across all the channels, then uh, that end up with uh, kind of, uh, we can say that uh, the misorder case like uh, we don't have uh, actually we have inventory in our facility in our system but that is not visible to the uh, 
e-commerce sites uh, all the sales channels so uh, customer cannot place the order uh, the second case uh, can be uh, uh, the case of the overselling of the products like uh, in that case uh, if we have uh, like we have we uh, we have inventory in our sales channels uh, or the uh, e-commerce website but actually we don't have inventory in our uh, facility or in our system like uh, so that is the case of the inventory is not synced uh, on the uh, uh, facility to the e-commerce websites or the sales channels so uh, like if we made the false promise to the customer like we have taken order from the customer and but we don't have actual inventory in our hand so uh, that is the case of false promise and we don't uh, we we can't fulfill that order so uh, if we can't fulfill that order that will lead to the customer dissatisfaction or customer frustration and finally end up with uh, the loss of the customer so uh, these are few cases i have experienced and uh, uh, based on it i can say that we should have a good real time inventory management system uh, in our hand so that uh, all the retail businesses uh, can take orders uh, and can deliver smoothly wow yeah. uh, that's really nice to uh, uh, nice to hear all those uh, points from you ankush and i'm pretty sure uh, you were pretty uh, you were actually able to solve all these uh, problems and address these challenges using apache oibis abilities and we would love to list uh, we would love to talk more love to have uh, love to know more about uh, um, uh, your experience solving these problems in upcoming sessions that we will be doing so yeah thank you so much for yeah. uh, putting these up uh, i would like to have opinions uh, from rohit uh, rohit over to you please uh First of all, I would like to say thank you, everyone, for inviting us here or to sharing our OMS experience. As everyone knows, that Apache OMS provides a powerful OMS tool, which we configure to manage real-time inventory syncing processes as per the business need. Like Ankush said, OMS OMS provides inventory visibility across point of distribution and sales, which means it enables retailer to to provide stock visibility to the customer. so that customer can so that customer experience can enhance and business can derive their sales in effective way another point which i wanted to highlight here that real time inventory sync sync up not only help customer but also help business user uh, in identifying inventory exceptions like any product is under stock or over stock that is it help retailers to quickly identify which item is going out of stock for instance uh, which product is going out of stock uh, so that uh, they can be replenish under stock or out of stock items from their procurement process uh, suppose if uh, the real time inventory position uh, uh, suppose if system does not provide a real time uh, inventory position then there will be delay in replen uh, in replenishment of stock levels which leads to loss of sales opportunities and can impact retailer profits over time on the other hand if uh, items are uh, overstock then it leads to high inventory carrying cost right uh, cases may come where uh, inventory gets damaged uh, over time and might require maintenance by the time so here i can conclusively say that uh, actually a powerful oms uh, system uh, actually empowers business decision uh, empowers better business decisions and help in understanding the customer demands yeah rohit uh, you actually uh, have added really good points to uh, uh, to the list that ankush has mentioned and i'm even more excited to know more about like uh, the more about the ways that you have used uh, uh, and the abilities from apache oibis so yeah we would love to hear from you more about the solutions that you have worked out uh and then we have one more expert with us uh, and there was this question from him webo uh, he posted it on mailing list last uh, weekend 
he was uh, he was uh, sort of concerned like how can a user or uh, how can a developer pull out the reservations done in an hour so that you know like how many uh, inventory counts have been reserved for certain products and how to basically do the hourly syncs how uh, in 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 different systems or in different channels that you have so webo uh, we would like to know uh, we would like to know more about uh, your experience with it and you, the problem that you are facing the challenge you are you are trying to solve here with apache oif thanks. thanks thanks pranav for introducing me hello everyone uh, as as uh, recently shared some experience by ankush and rohit we got to know about the false inventory promising and uh, challenges of the oms uh, like how uh, how inventory sync up is a is one of the big challenge uh, uh, by, by listening all these uh, uh, this detail i just uh, a word just clicked in my mind uh, like endless aisle which is a buzzing word and nowadays in the in the oms or e-commerce industry that uh, and uh, what is what is the endless aisle nowadays uh, every uh, uh, nearly every company have multiple brick and mortar store or pos stores and e-commerce store as well in the in these in these circumstances they want the minimum uh, they want to operate with minimum inventory and uh, want to do the minimum inventory carrying cost and uh, uh, inventory turn around so that uh, their profitability will increase and uh, inventory carrying carrying cost will decrease so all these are the part of the endless aisle management uh, when if we are managing endless aisle then we will we will uh, it, it turn our, around the inventory very efficiently in our system and uh, in, this will decrease the inventory carrying cost as well uh, it, these also help to to prevent the false inventory uh, false inventory promising as said as said by the ankush that uh, false inventory promising is one of the big challenge so all the, all these are the challenges when when we are doing when we are solving these challenges or doing this type of things in the in the software so then uh, generally there is a, there is a problem uh, we faced in the inventory sync up so the question i i posted on the mailing list is, is regarding the same that uh, if we want to uh, want to get to know the reservation have fund in in a in a in a last hour or in a last day so so this is the challenge how we go, how we got to know the invent a uh, reservation happen in the last hour or the last day last day so the question is regarding the same and shopnel replied here uh, replied here that uh, we get we we can get get this reservation from the inventory detail and uh, yes this is possible from inventory detail but uh, the another question there is the uh, inventory detail is a, is one of the very, very heavy entity so it might be challenge that uh, if we get we get this detail from inventory detail then it uh, it might be very heavy operation on the system in our case uh, we we find an another solution for the same we also have an olap db in in the in the office so uh, if you want to get to know the right. uh, reservations happened in the, in a last hour or in a last day so it is also similar to get to know the report that uh, what are the reservation happened in last hour or last day or or any specific time period so we can get this data from olap db as well in that case we need to get this information from transaction db and write some etl jobs to feed the data in the in the olap db and then we can easily use this data to uh, to get such such information so yes uh, of this can help us very yeah. efficiently on all these fronts yeah so as long as you are getting the timely information in your olap db it will definitely be able to serve you so it's uh, it, it it is about the right configuration exactly. of etls and the olap db that you want to do so yeah you have to fine tune the configuration based on the needs from the customer and oif is help should do those configurations and all those i would yeah. like to add on to the endless aisle scenario yeah because uh, promising promising an inventory item on your brick or brick and mortar store uh, of uh, with your uh, to your customer who is physically visiting you and sending it from your warehouse or from other store actually helps you 
first saving your sale that's why this uh, customer journey is also called save the sale journey because you are say you are basically saving a sale the customer could have gone because the inventory is not there now the associate the store associates if the two associates are being empowered with the tools they can actually use the tools and, and the 360 view of the inventory can help them know okay this inventory is available at some other facility and we can definitely get it fulfilled uh, we can ship it to customer's doorstep or we can ask him to come back after a couple of days or maybe in, in a couple of hours and we can uh, get it shipped to store and then customer himself can pick from the store itself so you are basically saving the sale at the same time definitely the turnaround is actually increasing the carrying inventory carrying cost is actually being handled efficiently there because you are not keeping the inventory on shelf for longer terms because uh, it's not available on, on all the facilities right at all the facilities you don't have this yeah you were saying something was sorry i uh, yes yes there, there there are many such benefits of endless i i, I just related my point to uh, ankush and uh, rohit yeah. regarding the falls from it and all such things so yes we have also yes. such benefits <clears throat> Yeah. Um, before I wrap up, uh, Suraj, would you like to add some points here? Yeah, uh, I guess these are really important points from uh, all the experts we have here. And uh, these are all important in terms of enabling all the omni-channel journeys in case you are uh, acting OBS at an order management system. An efficient order management system has all these scenarios enabled uh, so that you can act as uh, your business as a unified commerce platform. So definitely these are all very important corner cases, use cases that are important. Uh, like Webho mentioned the endless aisle case. So we have uh, one more session around the brokering logic as well, because that is also a very essential part for being a uh, or efficient order management system because to provide a better endless aisle opportunity you need to check out like which is the best possible uh, facility or store that that is available for the particular order so that uh, it will uh, have you the lowest possible uh, inventory carrying cost and shipping cost and all other expenses from the uh, business side so that you can save all your pennies from the business side to run it efficiently and increase your um, overall yeah. revenue maybe yeah so definitely we are going yeah. to cover those things in detail and by brokering you mean order routing right yeah order routing part yeah okay uh, so we have a pretty good audience here uh, as well so if there is any question please feel free to ask I hope uh, this session was a good session for you. You got some uh, good information here. And we would love to have your questions. If there is any. Oh, well, it looks like uh, we were pretty good at communicating what we wanted to. So yeah, <laughs> we are glad. Uh, and we would love to have you back, uh, all the audience. Uh, and we we promise that we'll uh, uh, we'll always try to uh, connect uh, with all the oil business experts as we can, and we'll be having news and discussions and brainstorming sessions here. Uh, in upcoming sessions, we'll definitely not only be talking about the concepts and the theory. We'll also be talking about the the complexities that you have dealt with uh, in the implementation and how have you solved these challenges. So today we have got to know about the challenges that we face, uh, um, and why, why, why do, why do a retailer actually need the real-time inventory sync and real-time inventory visibility across the channels? Um, that how does it help, and how does it um, help the customer uh, in improving the customer experience, basically? And there will be some additional points as well in upcoming sessions. So. I think we have tried to cover it today, but yeah, I, um, in my in my opinion, we'll definitely be needing a couple of more sessions to discuss this thing, and maybe more because it's a really crucial thing to talk about when we talk about the order management system. So thank you so much for joining in today, and we look forward to have more and more such uh, brainstorming sessions with all the experts of OIBIS community. Thank you so much for joining in today. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you, thank, thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.